Okay, here we are again. Back for some more. Uh, got my new ship. Changed a couple of things in the layout down here. I moved this onto this. I moved my guys over here. Because I don't need them here all the time. And also, this is going to get bigger. Which means that it's going to go up. Which means there's no room for these guys. So they get shipped over there. Um, other than that, everything's still the same. I do have... A very simple layout. And as I get more stuff, I'm going to be filling it up. Um, I don't have another bridge officer. I'll say throw him in there. Um, other than that, really... We're good to go. Oh, one thing that I did make sure to do is after after I set up all my bridge officers and this, I hit save to load out one, and then yeah, just to make sure that it's. Save to load out to because if you've got two loadout slots being the exact same then at least you'll be able to switch back to your loadout and your big tray will be the same and this that the other thing anyways on to turning point here we go this is the big conference. This is where we actually, you know, start to choose between KDF or Federation. Kittimer's place has some bad blood. Back in 2346, Romulan military launched a massive attack. It slaughtered all the Klingon colonists here and took the planet. The Klingons took it back in the chaos after Shinzon's rebellion. This is the first time since then that they've allowed Romulans to be there. We should be careful. The Klingons aren't going to be in a great mood. And stabbing us here will be a reminder of what's happened. Deton is waiting for the rest of us. In, with, her, with the rest of the Romulan diplomats in the Hall of Conquest. Let's go chat with them. Again, okay, green doors are good. Red doors can't go through. It's like lights at an intersection. Green is go. Red, stop. Okay, so this is... The Gallery of Honor. Look, it's a bad guy. Don't dusters. Okay, huh. Chamber of Conquest. That's what we're waiting on. Let's hope one day the Klingons turn their attention to the Tal Shiar. Any minute now. And there's Tatan. Oh, well, they decided to throw a surfboard up in the corner there. Okay, it's good to see a friendly face. Could you speak to the Klingon and Federation delegations? See what they're thinking, get a feel of how the negotiations will go, and most importantly, try to convince them of our sincerity. What can I do to help? Seriously? You're going to ask that right after he just said? Do that? Um, what about the war between Federation and how will they both help us? Well, ever hear of neutral zone, buddy? Tovin, what do you think? Oh, it's just... Yeah, we're still working on an agreement, but initial proposal is on the table. Federation Klingons will help us establish new Romulus as long as they can set up embassies on the planet. They wish to use this as a chance to acquire Romulan technology and Romulan allies. We need assistance to create a new world. It's a give and take. Hopefully one that will hope work. One little hope, uh, whatever. Again, I never said I was great at English. 
uh, you can start by speaking with some of the delegations from Klingon and the Federation. Just because an initial proposal has been presented doesn't mean that this is the conference is over. Far from it. Any information you can get about what they're thinking can help me. I'll see what I can do. Um, Federation's over here. I think I'll just deal with them first. Running up the banister. Yay! Banister running. Shigeru. Jiro Shigeru. Yeah, hey, buddy. I can't talk to you yet. I don't know why I can't talk to you. Okay. Well, let's not go and chat with the, uh, with the Federation then. Let's run on over and see the Klingons. You are a spy. Go away. And this is the bar. You are a spy. Go away. Okay, so I gotta go. Stand here and look at... Oh, stand over here. And discreetly observes tasks. I understand their stance, but still, there are issues. The would-be Romulan Republic is weak and fractured. How, how could the Alliance benefit us? Okay, so I gotta go speak to Woolen over here. Hey, Woolen. And diplomacy makes my thirsty work. In other words, get me a drink. Federation ambassador can't hold his teeth together for more than a minute. He keeps talking. And the Vulcan just stares daggers at everyone. Half of my delegation are a breath away from ripping into the Starfleeters like rampaging dargs and we're all stuck in here with you backstabbing green bloods. Did I offend you? Get used to it. We don't have a reason to trust you yet. And I don't know if we ever will. Well, maybe I can just go get you a drink. Hey Stas. On the way through. How's life? Uh, to Tim's followers, I'm Ambassador Stas, representative for the Klingon Empire. I'm curious, what exactly does your group have to offer the Klingons in allegiance to Tan is no warrior, and Klingon politics have little in common with Romulan machinations. Do you want to see our strengths, Tess? I'll accept your challenge. Because I've never done that before. You have bravado, I'll give you that. Doesn't mean you are strong or trustworthy. Perhaps an alliance with your group would bolster our strength against the Federation. If you don't stab us in the back, that is. We shall see. Very well. Okay. I gotta go and get some alcohol. Do do do. Oh. Mm, go away. There's a table full of alcohol. Loop loop loop. Okay. Okay. Now seriously, with it hanging out like that, I probably would have dumped it all over the floor. Okay. Let's talk to you. Here, have a drink. Ah, blood wine. At least you have some manners. Nice to see that you aren't all as ill-bred as the stories say. Watch your tongue, Klingon. No one talks to me like that. Yes, I kind of want to start a fight with the Klingons. Ah, uh, there's some strength in you. I like that. Perhaps you could be a valuable ally. But just for now, you seem to be a good Klingon drink person. Keeping an eye on you and your kind. Klingons don't seem to be too thrilled. Yeah, gee, what was your first clue? Maybe we'll have better luck with the Federation. You figure? Mm. 
Yuhu Zero Chiro Sugihawa. I want to talk to the most long winded person in the universe. One of our potential allies. Let's talk. Yes. I would love a chat. Now, please don't take the cool reaction of my colleagues and an indication of how the whole Federation feels. There's a history between our two governments. But I believe with some work we can come to a peaceful agreement. Don't you agree? I was hoping we... Okay, of course you do. Of course. What else? Blah, 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 blah. Blah 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 I'm just gonna edge away cautiously because seriously wall of text I've never bothered to read okay yeah that's great and Admiral Tanay the one that just stares daggers at everyone. I know your kind too well uh, to ever trust what you say. I will not be taken in by your attempts at being to be disarming. It's like, okay, I'd be like, yeah, I'm not trying to disarm you. Um, don't mean. Oh, let's go with the Telshiar one. Uh, Okay, has yet to be determined if anybody's being hunted. Well, we've all seen it, so neater, neater, neater. Um, anyways. Trap. So, the Federation doesn't like us either. But at least they're not, like, as openly hostile as the Klingons are. Okay, done. Joel on true. What do you have to report? Well, the Klingons hate us and Federation doesn't like us. I doubt ever we would be careful not to This conference is a farce. Sheila. You're not trying to phone a settlement. You're rebelling against your sovereign. I'm running away from my sovereign because it doesn't work for me. Like, seriously? You know, I have no idea why it's not actually reading it out for me anymore. But... you How could you? Tovin? That's enough, you two. Leave this to Tamara me. Okay. I'll walk away slowly. Unbelievable. How could that one just stand there? Hold on. We're getting a message from the ship. Picking up odd ships on sensors. Ships that match those some we ran. A cannoli was destroyed. Good, now they'll have to deal with us, the Klingons, and the Federation. Inform the Klingons that we have invite uninvited deaths. Yes. The Klingon command base has ordered us to remain in orbit and leave the defense of the to them. However, I'm certain that the singularity signature that I'm detecting that ship was in orbit of Virenat during the attack. This could be the one or the person responsible for the destruction of that colony. <sighs> Do you investigate despite the... Oh yeah, and it tells me I have to. I'm picking up multiple anomalies in the area, but the Klingons are still ignoring them. We should investigate them and be prepared for whatever happens. Keep an eye out for Klingon ships. If any hostiles appear, they'll show up too. If we're lucky, they'll target the enemy and not us. Okay, let's go. Uh, it's an anomaly, right? An um, only anomaly. An anomaly right there. See, nice shot there.
Send you the data uh, on the electric. All oh, right. Yeah. Okay. So, Captain uh, Kang, you've proven yourself in battle against one of these ships. I will ensure that you will survive to prove yourself again. I was the first to encounter Alien Undine with in the Klingon Empire, and I should be the first to combat this new alien threat. Do battle. Yeah. Sure. Sounds good. Yeah. Oh look, it's another bad guy. Oh my god. And uh oh. More guy in a tripod. Say yeah. Uh, lump of hydrazine up here that I want. Because you can never have enough hydrazine. Oh, look at that. It's Colonel Keeve. There he is, and it's the Deridex. Wait a minute, surprise. You were the one that discovered us, Peckham. I'm quite happy you did, though. Now I have a chance to rectify the mistakes at Gasco Station. Captain Gerard, you have no place in this fight. This is a Romulan affair. Captain Gerard? Lucky, you come into the sovereign Klingon territory with hostile intent. You have brought these aliens into our space, and now you have... The unmitigated gall to try to give orders to a Klingon warrior? This is not a Romulan affair anymore, Colonel. You have insulted me and you will pay the price. Never insult a Klingon, Akiv. That's just dumb. I don't care if you have a hundred Klingon ships. You will not stop me. Yeah, we'll see about that. Boom. Well, that was pretty effective of him. I'm just gonna drop that, though. Do 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 do. Oh, look at that! A squishy side from my torpedo. Thanks, buddy. Okay, now I get to speak to Captain J-Rod. You fought well, Centurion. My people will learn of Akeem's attack on my vessel. I can promise you that. I will also tell them of your abilities in battle. However, Akeem did not die, so I cannot rule out the possibility that this was all a Romulan trick. My ship will continue to patrol the area. You should return to the conference. Thank you, Captain. Look, he beamed down something to the set before he warped. Yes, I think we're getting... He's beamed explosive down to Kittimer. We've got to get down there and disarm them before anybody finds out. 
In a hint of problem, this conference will be shut down. We'll lose our chance for colonization. <gasps> Let's get down there. Oh, look, we're already down there. Okay, so, yes. Uh, we dealt with everything up there. Now we just gotta deal with everything down here. Um, just don't blow up. Okay, thanks, Tamara. Yeah, we're gonna locate and disable bombs. There's one off to the left. And then, remember all those guys that I was saying were spies? Yeah, they're spies. And they're all sitting on bombs. Do 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 do. Oh, and now he's figuring out that they had spies here the whole time. Oh, that looks like some trionium that I haven't picked up yet. There you go. Um, don't think there's one in this area. Oh yeah, right, the guy that's just over here. And there's one behind the bar. And then we put away our weapons and talk to Tamer. Did he get the explosives? Good, that's a relief. I found a bomb near one of the statues in the back of the hall. I should be able to confirm that these devices were made by Talshiar once the conference is over. It will be m more proof that they cannot be trusted. Continue. Why? Don't you come inside the conference. Klingons are about to speak. It should be interesting to hear what they have to say. We're on our way. Time for a cutscene. In conclusion, think about how many times we've been fooled by Romulans. Sela already sent the Talshiar here to attack us, who's to say Detan is not part of her plan. We must not allow this alliance to happen. Hakib! Treacherous Greenblood, what do you think you just stay back? What are you... Remember this. Oh. He gave his life for me? For a Klingon? Here, come here. Just bit it. Next. Now's a good time to move on with your life, buddy. Detan, what do you have to say? Tamir's death will not be in vain. Now we have the opportunity to secure our future. Federation looks favorably upon our endeavors, but it will take time for them to commit. Now Tamir has shown the Klingons that there is honor and nobility among us. We may not have gotten what we wanted today, but I foresee a day where we will build a new home on Lau Romulus. Yeah, that's great. Okay, next step must be yours. Both stink. Starfleet and Klingon Defense Force have agreed to take Romulans into their forces and I'd like you to be the first. Well, I kind of was actually, but more on that later. Anyways, you will be our eyes, ears, and heads in their fleets. More importantly, you will be our voice. Where you serve is your choice, but remember, you will always be a Romulan. If you haven't done so already, go talk to the him and the him and then take some time to think it over uh, when you figure it out go back to the flotilla okay hey the him 
See, now this is where everybody just changes their tune. These guys hated us before, but now... Tamir died with honor, and when my time comes, I hope I can do the same. His sacrifice showed me that we have a common enemy. The blood in your veins may be green, but you fight for a people with courage of Klingon. I would be proud to give you my aid, or give my aid to you and Datan. We will hunt the Tal Shiar like the dogs they are. So, yeah. Klingons freaking love me now. And what do these guys say? Tamir's sacrifice will be remembered, I promise you that. Personally, I never liked the Tal Shiar, but we the diplomatic cur are always committed to trying to find a peaceful solution first. We can help you in your fight to bring justice to the Tal Shiar if you'll accept our assistance. We know you got a lot to do to rebuild your home world, and the Federation wants to be your ally and everything. So he's like, meh. Tamir gave his life so that we could... We would be understood by the others. I know I won't forget this. I, I'd actually forgotten about it, so... But, anyways. I'm ready to do whatever it takes to take down Tel Shiar. Takes to take. Why? Meh. So I'm with you on this, no matter what. Ship is waiting our return. Let's just get out of here. Okay, ready, set, gone. Oh, man, it just goes on and on and on. Romulan flotilla. Go. wonder if I've gotten any... nope. Okay. Flotilla. Now... I might end up making you sad by my decision, but uh... That's just the way that it goes. I got a whole bunch more stuff on the Starfleet side, so I gotta side with them. Welcome back, I'm Sub Commander Nadell. Tamir's final actually reproached both the Klingons and the Federation. Time's come for you to decide who you will be allied with. Starfleet and Klingons have sent diplomats here to stay here at the flotilla. Talk to them if you have any questions. Then speak to me when you're ready to make your choice. Yeah. So remember back on the planet on Kittimer, Klingons were all like, "Oh hell yeah, let's uh, let's hang out." You know, they're all buddies. So let's and the Federation's like, "Meh, stay, go, whatever." Let's talk to these guys. Turn aside for surprise, road bravery and honor. We honor his act and won't forget this. Prime Directive may tie our hands sometimes, but we recognize when reaching out will help the galaxy. We're ready to recognize the Romulan Republic as a legitimate government free of the Romulan Star Empire. We can help your people if you'll accept us as your allies. We'll gladly aid you in your fight against the tyranny of the Tel Shiar. We know you got lots to do to build a new homeworld on New Romulus. Tell us what you need. We're ready to help you with the reconstruction and relocation of any willing Romulans to their new home. Yeah. So, you know, he's like, oh yeah, we, we, can, we can help you with building your planet. Brigadier General Gadan. Tamir's sacrifice showed the High Council that we have a common enemy and that there's such a thing as an honorable Romulan. We honor his memory. Join us. See, they just say, you know, join us. Come on. It's you and me, buddy. Let's go. The blood in your veins may be green, but uh, yeah, I've already read this team more than once. Together we'll hunt the Telshiard like the honorless dogs they are. They can't write any new scripts. But anyways, these guys actually want us. And these guys are like, yeah, we can help you. 
This guy's like, yeah, let's go. So, as stupid as it may seem, I'm not going to go with the guy that uh, is all like, yeah, let's go. This is fun. This is fantastic. I'm going to go with the, meh. Yeah, we could have fun with this. We'll help you out. Picking Federation as your ally will give you access to our space dock and Starfleet Academy. You'll be able to team with Starfleet captains, plus Starfleet ships if you chose. Well, some Starfleet ships. There's no going back. You will be considering the Klingon Empire an enemy. You sure? Yeah. Okay, so what's next? Turning point. Uh, yeah. Let's just collect the reward and have a happy day. And I get all of that. So that's cool. So I am neutral no more. So I'm going to have to accept this mission. And... Speak with the ship vendor on the flotilla. What? The CZ Fest? What the heck are you? Other than ugly as sin. In a weird kind of way. Uh, okay, well, it's CZ Fest. And they've been assigned to the Hakona. Well, that's great. Um... We're going to say not now on that CZ Fest. Because, um, ew. So i got to talk to the ship vendor. Probably about getting a new ship, which I've already done. But... Ship vendor. Uh, congratulations on making Centurion. Yeah, I already did that. Oh. Now I get a free costume change and skill respect token. Yay. Go for the gold. Okay, so I'm also here to help you choose a vessel. Which one would you like? I don't actually want one, but I apparently have to. Browse selection. There. I apparently just have. Okay, so now I can also get a constitution. Oh, I can't afford a constitution because I have zero zen. But the light escort I can get, which comes with, oh uh, right, that's the NX one. So that gives me a grappler console mod, which I don't really want. Uh, light science vessel, the Oberth, comes with enhanced plasma manifold console module, which is one of the most powerful freaking things in the game. Um, it's also a 500 Zen kick in the teeth, but I'm taking it because I've already paid it. Uh, yeah, done. Um, blockade runner escort comes with a Resonance Cascade Modulator Console Mod, which is nice and all that. Um, Dylan and Dale. I picked up a Dale because they are pretty, well, Romulan. And I like the Dale, looks of the Dale better than Dylan. Somewhat, maybe. Somewhat. Yeah. They have their, yeah. In the end, you can just... Oh, right, I got uh, these ones, too. So, Science Vessel gives us a... Comes down a Photonic Displacer Module, so you can go, I'm here. No, wait, I'm over there. Hee, hee, hee. Uh, cruiser retrofit, which I didn't buy because it gives me ionized gas sensor console module, uh, which I don't use ever. Escort retrofit 
comes with an impulse booster, which is always nice to get you the heck out of there. Um, and then we're into the next rank. I think I'm going to pick that up. Yeah. Okay, great, thanks. Done. Now, I'm going to loot. Yay, loot. Oh yeah, and this also finishes that off as well. So Catalina, I'm stealing that. Tell you what I want. Um, glad you settled into your new ship. As we can't waste any more time, we received word. Miners on Beta Thordor have spotted Nuskin pirates near their system. Pirates haven't bothered to attack the mining installation, but it's only a matter of time, and they're likely to go after freighter traffic in the area. Beta Thordor is an unremarkable system. But there's a small Republic colony there, and the mine, that mines heavy metals necessary for ship construction. I need you to take your new ship to Beta Thordar system and patrol the area. Just let everyone know that the Republic is watching. Yeah, sounds good. Okay. I was actually talking to you. Um, right. That is going... Oh, wait. That goes there. Thing. Okay, the T1, I'm taking that out of the T1, I'm putting it in there. Yeah, just because I can do that. So, now I'm going to get rid of the U.S.S.Catalina and charge the u dot s dot s dot t a i y u a n no oh i forgot a dot okay so there you go so now i'm gonna go race off to beta thordar Gonna race off to Beta Thoradar, and uh, we'll pick that up in the next episode. So until then, don't forget to comment below and give it a thumbs up. Yeah, already all over that. Thanks. And uh, yeah, until next time. This is Peck. Out. <laughs>